Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. It is Sunday, March 5th, 2023. You're looking at Mitsui Outlet Park. It closed down, the one in Kobe. It's my first time to see it like this. It uh, lost a lot of business during COVID, the early years. It's too bad, I used to like coming down here, but like I said, it lost a lot of business. Now what? There's nothing here but the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. And there is uh, Taiheo Onsen, which I'm going to pass. And you know, you've got a nice view of the docks and the ocean. So I'm going to cycle around. I see cyclists coming from that way, so I can go around that parking lot. So let's go and check it out. I'm behind the parking lot and in front of me is the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge and over there is Awaji Island and I see a fisherman sitting over there and over there it is absolutely a beautiful day to fish, to walk, to jog around here I used to park my car here once upon a time now it's all gone Look at the view, it's absolutely beautiful. Here I am. At least you can still come over here and sit down. The former Mitsui Outlet Park, Kobe, it's gone. There used to be a Starbucks that I used to go to here. It's all gone. There's some kind of event over there for kids. They have boats. Look at this. This was a nice place to have a picnic. They had a lot of gourmet restaurants there and a lot of high-end shops. They're all gone. I wonder what they're going to build in, in place of this. Okay, let's go that way and we'll pass by that onsen called Taiheyo. I'm on this side now. Stunning. Just stunning. It's so refreshing to see the sea and the sky, and there goes an airplane. It is a beautiful Sunday, Sunday morning. Over there is Taiheyo Pacific Onsen. That's open. You can see people fishing. You can fish anywhere in Japan, I would say almost anywhere, for free. And as I just pointed out, that is the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. It links Kobe to Awaji Island. I'm getting stared at just for holding this. <laughs> Here is a walking trail. Let's go. That is Taiheyo. It's a spa. This is Azur Michael. You can swim in the summer. Uh, they closed it off for the last few years. They opened this part of the beach just last year. Things are getting better. I'm pretty sure they're going to open this part of the beach this year as well. Okay, no pets are allowed on the beach, by the way. Not in Japan. You can see lots of people out and about enjoying this beautiful day. Some have pets. Some are walking, some are jogging. Absolutely beautiful, especially in the summertime. If you come over here, you'll see a lot of, you know, bikinis, if you're into that.
lots of fun. That is an expensive hotel by Adger Michael. I heard it's like $500 per night. I don't recommend it if you have lots of money to blow and uh, you don't mind, go for it. It's a waste of money. Remember this building? I did a video about this uh, place. You gotta check it out. And over there is another historical place. Uh, I might do a video on that. What a beautiful day. And I see people fishing over here. Let's pass that way. Here is this historical building. It is open, but I'm not going to it. This place used to belong to a guy named, a Chinese man named Sun Yat-sen. So there's some information in Japanese, Chinese, Korean, English. Look at that. Really cool. And you know, guys, you can take an elevator up there and you can walk to a certain point up to there. There is a souvenir shop up there. You can't walk across. You need to drive or get on a bus to cross or get on a motorcycle, okay? No walking across the bridge to the island. This is called Michael Marine Promenade. Okay, so if you ever want to go sightseeing around Kobe, there you go. You buy your tickets at that machine and then you enter. And there is a restaurant inside and they have free Wi-Fi. Let's just quickly look at what's inside. Okay, I'm not going inside. They have a cafeteria area, washrooms. Uh, they have a glass floor. Um, I've been here before. Uh, yeah, maybe it might be good for you. But for me, um, once is enough. And if you ever get thirsty, they have vending machines everywhere. You can get drinks here. They're a little bit more expensive, but you can get drinks. Way in the distance over there is Akashi City. Awaji Island. And there is a museum over there that talks about the construction of this uh, Akashi Kaikyo Bridge right there. So you might want to check that out. And over that away is J.R. Michael Station. The good thing is that you can ride your bicycle here. It's open. Akashi Kaiko Bridge Exhibition Center. I don't know. Yeah, you probably have to pay an, ad an admission. There's a wheelchair access. There is also parking. And toilets. Here is a public payphone, which most people don't use anymore, but it's there toilets and vending machines and a staircase to the other side to J.R. Michael Station. Okay guys that's it for this video thank you for watching like and visit Kobe.